YouTube channel and making it all about anything with motors, I get to learn about a high boost. And it's a legend, the king of speed. Why? I'll tell you, because that's what's next. So it gets real fun to do some research on different vehicles and when we get something in like this 2006 Hibusa, and yes it's the limited which is pretty awesome and I didn't know a whole lot about this because there's just too many makes and models out there to know everything about everything but when you get one in and you do a video with it you get to learn about it and here's what I found out it's a GSX 1300 so just from knowing some motorcycle guys and talking to people over time, I've always known that the Hayabusa kind of holds a special place in motorcycle history. But did I know all the details? No. So then I found out that around 2000, there was a competition with motorcycles, the big name companies, to try to make the fastest production model ever. And it kind of took some leaps and bounds. So what does it take to be the fastest production motorcycle? Well, there's kind of a fight that took place right before that. and some really weird things happened that I did not know about until now. So at the time in 2000-ish, the fastest production motorcycle was a Honda VF1000. It ran around 150 miles per hour. And then companies decided that that just wasn't good enough. And they were gonna have a race, literally, with horsepower and top speeds. So quickly then Kawasaki jumped in and made the 900, which pushed around 158 miles per hour. I've been 120 on a motorcycle, that's as fast as I'm going, but people wanted to go even faster. Now I'm not even sure how to say this name, but Bimoto built a bike and they kind of came out of nowhere with a 170 mile per hour top speed bike, but shortly after that Kawasaki said no, that's not going to happen, and surpassed them with a new Ninja that ran 175 miles per hour. At this point Honda said no way, and Honda made something called the Blackbird. Now that's very important to the story because I found out a couple of different things about the name Blackbird. That Blackbird for Honda ran 180 miles per hour. And that's when Suzuki, which I think at the time was known as just kind of the everyday average bike, and it really wasn't in the levels of Honda and Kawasaki, they came out with a GSX 1300 this thing, the Hayabusa. The first thing I found out is that Hayabusa in Japanese actually stands for Peregrine Falcon. And then I found out that the Peregrine Falcon actually hunts blackbirds and Honda made the fastest production bike for a while named the Blackbird. So I think, yeah, I think what Suzuki was doing was actually just shoving it down their throat. And then they didn't just go five mile per hour faster. They went to 194 mile per hour top speed. Now, yes, there is some arguments and through all of my research, I have found out that 194, somewhere between there and 188. And there's some arguments depending on what pages you look at, but those are the top speeds. So that is anywhere from eight to 14 miles per hour faster than the Honda. And this became a legend. Kind of explains the weird looks because it's all aerodynamics and that's what they did it for. But to take it that far and even name it the Hayabusa, it's kind of an awesome way to kick somebody in the face. So when this bike came out, Japan's government and the European governments and stuff apparently made some kind of unofficial rule that 188 miles per hour from here on out, or actually 186 miles per hour, will be the fastest production bike that anybody can make because maybe they realized that the craziness of being on the streets doing 200 miles per hour could be insane, lead to deaths, and maybe they just didn't want to have the war anymore. I don't know why, and it doesn't seem like from any of my research that you could find out why, because nobody even sees an official paperwork on it. Nobody even knows what exactly took place, but apparently there are some behind closed doors deals. So this remains the fastest production bike ever made. But what do I like about it? Because I'm just an average car guy and an average motorcycle guy, and I've only owned two bikes in my whole life, but I still do appreciate the beauty of something this insane. 
And on the Bahi Garage, we love everything that's different. So yes, I do love the fact that it looks different than any other bike on the road and you can see it from a mile away and everybody knows what a Hayabusa is. I've had tons of motorcycle friends when they see a Hayabusa, they're super excited and it doesn't take them long to figure out what it is. But dual exhaust, being that the bike is symmetrical with exhaust pipes on either side, I always love that balanced look. I have loved that look since way back in the day when they were building Bonnevilles in the 70s. I do like the balance of it. Do you like the front cowling, the windshield, the hump? I mean, this thing really does look like some kind of bullet fat monster because it's not as tiny. And I do prefer tiny bikes over big bikes. But for the balance wise and for the feel of the actual bike and the height of the bike, I'm 5'11 and it fits me and suits me well. It doesn't feel like a heavy bike because it's very balanced. And it's not twitchy because some bikes are very twitchy the more power you get fans of Hayabusa you know what it's all about you know why they call this a legend and we're gonna have a lot more because from what I hear we might even have a 2012 coming it's pretty exciting I can't wait to see it that might be what's next in the Bayou garage but you gotta let me know in the comment section below what kind of cars and vehicles and anything with a motor you want us to check out and hell, bring yours down here. We'll do an interview with you. We'll check out your car, truck, bike, motorcycle, whatever you got. Let's do it. Let's have some fun, share it with your friends, and let some people know what do you love in motors. Because we want to know what's in your garage. Until then, peace out. We got to go find something else.